Are you tired of being overcharged and forced into paying a monthly subscription for your Mac and Windows software? Well, if you are, currently we're having a 50% off discount on all the latest Mac and Windows software, such as AutoCAD, SolidWorks, Photoshop, Microsoft Office, and much more. Our 50% off discount will be ending soon, so be sure to text us, Need Software, to 323-405-1341. That's 323-405-1341. We aim to please, so expect 24-7 technical support, the latest premium software, instant software links delivered to your email, and PayPal Buyer's Protection Guarantee. Abdul Clutch said Godfrey was on The Breakfast Club. I finally, I finally made it on that bitch, man. Because I never made it up on there either yet, to be honest. Like, Yo, I almost I, felt like you did it for me, too. Like, like yeah. the way you was like, I'm finally here. Like, you know what it was like? It was like, I felt like when I used to see, like, you, all you guys on um, SBU or Law & Order, right? I was like, I hope I get on before they cancel this motherfucker, but they're never going to cancel it. I have, but, oh, well, and it, you never uh, know. But I finally got on. Like, I was able to do an episode. I was like, God damn, I hope they don't, like, and then. Wait, 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 wait. Did I just see you in an episode today? Of SVU. <laughs> of SVU, and you were like a director or some shit? <laughs> <laughs> That motherfucker came in there. You gotta be a man. You gotta do it like wow. this. And he kissed me. And Godfrey looking like, goodness gracious. I was, I was like, you're on my set. What are you doing on right. my Right, what set, are you lady? doing? Like, you're just He's coming like, what in here. What are you doing to my daughter? Yeah, I was like a, I was like a grimy director dude. And I, I didn't was, see the whole, the whole episode, but I was like, that's bald head Godfrey right there. <laughs> that's bald head Godfrey. Because I saw... Uh, <laughs> Lord Jamar in the episode, he's like, I don't know, man. I'm telling you, he's not I don't know like, what the fuck. I don't know where he goes, man. What you talking about, baby? I, 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 hey, hey, I don't fucking know. I fucking I Dominican, don't fucking man. Know. I just telling you, man. I don't know. I don't I, fucking I, know, man. So yeah, so I got that one episode, and I didn't have to audition. They offered it to me, so I was like, damn, thank God. Right. Fuck, I, I thought I was never gonna be on them shit because I always wanted to be yeah. like. I always wanted to be interrogated, you know, like Ice T's like, yo, so you're not going to tell us the information? I was like, I don't know. I told you, man. I don't got the gun, man. That's my boy shit. I, we know you get it, homie. We know you get it. Yeah, he's like this. Oh, I think you want to be a smart ass. But when you go to jail, <laughs> you're going to see what it's like. Gun, gun. <laughs> That's what I wanted, you know. But I'm glad I was And we're going to get you some car shield, too, motherfucker. Yeah, and that's how <laughs> this, um, the, um, I got, um, you know, Nick Cannon's show got canceled, by the way, guys. Oh, we heard, man. And we're not happy about what? that because, yeah, first of all, we're happy that my man Nick Cannon um, went ahead and, and employed one of us over here, okay, because he employed Godfrey as a writer. So, you know. Having one of us on the inside like uh, uh, like that is fucking great, um, and so I, I'm I'm upset that my brother won't be receiving a check from this, you know, yeah. anymore. Yeah, but but I, I'm 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 doing the next season of Wild and Out, and I'm gonna be writing on that also. Dope, so I'll be dope, in Atlanta dope. in like two weeks and for the whole run. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, me, but writing so. Nick, Nick's always, you know, that motherfucker always got shit in his pocket. He's always producing, doing shit. He got a bunch of other shows. Mm. But um, it was just weird the way they just cut us off because even Ellen DeGeneres has a farewell show. She got a farewell right. show. Oh, you mean they, uh, there's no more? Because like, I saw re reruns. I saw reruns all of a sudden after the announcement. But he yeah. was like, hang on, we still got a month of shows or something like that. And then uh, now I'm seeing reruns. So is it just done? It's just, man, they said we, we're not coming back to the studio. Wow. Not coming back to the studio. I was like, all the white talk show hosts be getting 10 years to jail. <laughs> they be, they don't. That's, but you know, because I'm not going to lie. I wanted to say when I first started watching it, I didn't like it. Well, it, I didn't it, like it, it at first. It, hey, it, let it, me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> yes, sir. But then. I kept coming back to it 
because I wanted to give it a chance. And I knew that you were writing on there. So for just for that part alone, I said, let me at least keep it on, even if I'm not like paying attention to it. Right. Let me have it on so I could do whatever it does, right? And yep. then, like, I'm starting to watch it, and, yo, it just started growing on me. Hey, Nick. Hey, yeah. everybody say, hey, Nick. Hey. You know, that's just... Yo, when I would leave Damn, the studio... you look good. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Yeah. Shit, man, I know he's catchy. faking. I know he's fake as fuck. I know he's not playing that piano for real. Stop no, fronting. Yeah, stop. <laughs> why? Why are you? Why are you pretending to play the piano, Nick? Like I gotta. But play, he's I gotta, actually like learning to play. He can play the right. Piano. So he's probably trying to grow into it. Yeah. So where one of these days, I'm, I'm gonna make him think. Was he playing it all the time? No, I could tell you fake playing. But at some point, yeah, maybe you want to learn. And Nick, Nick was at. You know, I think Nick was just trying to find really try to be different whatever than everybody else. He had to keep it positive. We made sure nobody, you couldn't dog anybody. And the demographic was mainly white housewives who are you, that's who you're really, but the, the audience was mainly black and Puerto Rican. Right. Cause we was in Harlem. In Harlem, right. And, and which was, is another thing that I liked about it. It seemed like, you know, he tried to make an effort to, you know, he could have filmed anyway. He could have been downtown and all this type of shit, but you're filming it at the old 106 and Park, yeah. you know, joint. And I'm like, that's that's pretty dope. Like, you know what I mean? Like, right. I, I, I thought, that. I, you know, I don't know daytime. I just know growing up watching daytime shows, I always thought, you know, it's kind of corny. You got to be positive. You can't curse. It's, it's housewives. The demographic is different. Even the commercials are different. They're selling cereal, they're selling diapers. They're selling, so it's housewives and family stuff. And um, when, you know, and I, and when I got on there, you know, there was Rip Michaels on there writing and another lady named Claire, she was a, a, like a Harvard writer. She wrote on SNL, this white chick. She left because there were certain things she wasn't agreeing with as far as like, it, was, it wasn't super, super organized, but I think they were just trying to find their feet, what, what works and what doesn't. And they didn't really give it a, I don't, I don't know. I guess the suit, the, the, the set was good. Nick had all the different suits and stuff. That was cool. And he's, you know, he's a likable dude. I mean, I don't know. He's definitely a polished host. Like he's definitely, yes. You can see he studied the shit. He does the oh, yeah. shit with the hands and you know, he's got his shit down got on down. some talk show shit, you know, um, yeah, like he's well seasoned. Trust me. I mean, this ain't gonna be the last we see of Nick Cannon. Trust oh, me. No. In this kind of configuration, I think right. he's gonna find the right vehicle for him. But I mean, I can't front. He does remind me like he is probably our generation's, you know, young Johnny Carson. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And like, I, I mean, if he goes night, if he does a a Nick at night, <laughs> Nick at know? night, right? He could, it, it would be edgier. It'd probably be better for him. I right. think, fuck that daytime shit. All the you baby know? making like, you like to do. You, you know you want to talk I think, about I think that. I think personally he should have used me and Rip like for side, like side guys to do like stuff on the street. He should have, I think he, I was, I was hoping he would do that because I wanted him to win. I was like, fuck that. You know, use us to do Was shit, that suggested? Like, was that suggested? I didn't really say anything. I didn't want to, you know. Close mouth, don't get fed, Godfrey. Yeah, well, Closed mouth don't get fed. Well, that would have been a brilliant idea. Yeah. Just see, that's the way that that uh, Chappelle used, you know, fuck boy and and um, Charlie Murphy and shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, you know, he used them in a good way. <laughs> I think I, I know, know what you're talking about. Shit out of him, anyway. No, nah, he, 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 you know, like he, hey, that was. Proper, proper adjective. Yeah. Um, so anyway, um, yeah. If you, he would have used y'all in like some skits or just more, yeah, like, you know yeah. what I mean. That would have been even like you said, out on the street. Hang on, we got Godfrey out. He's asking questions, and he want to know. And you could have been right outside the studio or some shit yeah, like right that. On right the on the sidewalk, right there. Right on the sidewalk. We could have right really there. did some stuff, but it was. I think a lot of times people really they think they can carry a load. And it's not, 
it's just maybe, you know, Nick is such a seasoned guy. He's been around since he was little. So I really believe he thought, I can, I, I got this. And I'm like, that's cool. But I was like, use us, man. You know, right. fuck, man. We, we want you well, in. Fuck well, that. let that be a lesson to you. Closed mouth, don't get fed. Uh, shout out to Leah Leon. She said, I rep Newark, New Jersey, but now that I'm in Central Florida, I say it's time for you all to leave the snow and take a trip here. Central Florida uh, sounds horrible. Huh? Yeah, Central, Central Florida, Florida. sounds hot and boring. <laughs> Sound like swamps and mosquitoes. Hell yeah. And um, I see Saracen. He said, Godfrey, congratulations on the Breakfast Club interview. Yes. <laughs> you demolish it. Shout you know, I didn't get to see it, but I heard you shout it out to God. I heard you shout it out to God on there. I, did I shout you out? Yeah, I heard you shouted me out. Yeah. I didn't see it, but I heard you shouting me out. I think you in regards, in regards, to the, yeah, you see what I, I do. I think you shouted me in regards to the V Lad situation. If I'm not, I sure did bring right. you up. I sure did. I brought you up on 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 on. I think 85 South. I brought you on on Pierre's Panic Room. I brought you up on, I said, yo, I said, me and Lord Jamar, we, you know, Jamar was like, yo, we, we approached my man and said, hey, man, you going to protect, stand with your feet, but we standing with the fuck ours, man. Fuck this shit, yo. Bye -bye. And, and did I talk to you when I, did I went to see Farrakhan's last speech? No, no, but I saw that you were there. I saw that you was there. Okay. Oh, now, did you get the love? Let me tell you something. <laughs> Yo. Mm. I, Brother I, Godfrey, I had a, I Brother had Godfrey, we are so yes. delighted. I had a show, in Dayton. Did for the I had a show in Dayton, Ohio. And after my show, my last show, I was going to go fly back, fly to Chicago to catch the minister. And the airplane I was on, the engine didn't even work. They said, we have to get off. This is not even taking off. So I'm sitting there like, oh, shit. Mm. So I rent a car. Thank God Dayton, Ohio Airport is so small. I just went across the street, rented a car, drove four hours on no sleep at 90 mm. miles an hour, got mm. there in time. Then I got treated. All the ministers, they saw me driving. And they were like, Brother Godfrey, Brother Godfrey, Brother Godfrey, it's Brother Godfrey. Yeah, no. Dude, I was getting mad props, dog. Mm. It was, and it's my hometown. Wow. And I used to go to the Mosque Maryam when I was in college. Mm -hmm. And they gave me so much love. I saw Riza Islam was there because I kept in, I kept in correspondence with Riza and brother uh, Ben X was there. All, and all these different brothers from I different see Rock cities. Him, all kinds. I was like, Rock what the Kim. fuck? Nobody told me. Like <laughs> Rock Him, Two Chains, Dougie <laughs> Fresh, Corey Holcomb. We was all in the building. And I had brothers from different cities, like brother, I'm from Cleveland. Anytime you're in Cleveland, brother, just let us know when you need help. Go to the brother. Hey, brother, I'm from Detroit. Brother, I'm from Bubba. I'm from Philly. I'm from. They said, brother, you know we love what you and Lord Jamar did. We really appreciate what you. Yo, son, it was so much love, bro. You know mm -hmm. how it hits you right here. That's what I'm saying. I already, I already seen brothers from the nation. You know, prior to this. You yeah. know, after what we did, and it was just like, yo, brother. It's amazing. You know, it's, like, it's, they were just it's, so, it's, like. Yeah. What's the word? Um, Just so much gratitude. Yes. Yeah. So yeah. ingratiated. We, you know. didn't do it, we didn't do it because oh, right. we just want them. Like, we did it because it was the, it was the right thing to fucking do, dude. Facts. It was the right thing to do. And 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 it's like I, I'm just right, it's just disappointing with him. Like it's like, really, dude? But you had Nick Cannon apologize, apologizing to your people, but you just shit on us and 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 yeah, let me have black women and shit on black men and to make money off us and niggers just Negroes just fucking still fucking support that shit. That shit is amazing to me. We are got to be one of the dumbest races on the planet. I swear to God. One, not all of us, but we've got to be the biggest suckers, man. We don't stand for shit, bro. God damn. All of those numbers can go right to here. All those numbers can just shift over. Just like this. Right. Hey, hey, fuck you. Bam, we over here. Right. Wow, man. Niggas talking about, I miss you on, on or seeing you on there. Well, I yeah. mean, they I'm say, online every fucking fuck? week, motherfucker. You ain't got to miss me. 